Hi, listeners, and welcome to My Holland Update. I'm Marianne Manderfield, Public Information Coordinator for the City, and today our guest is Sally Lakaitis, Executive Director for the Holland Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Hi, Sally. Hi. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. So today we're talking about something very unique that's coming to Holland this summer, a semi-permanent outdoor exhibit, The Wizard of Oz, and you all are spearheading it, right? That's correct. That's correct. This has actually been a dream of the Convention and Visitors Bureau for the last five years, and to finally see it come to fruition is absolutely amazing. I'm sure. So I got to ask, why the Wizard of Oz? What's tell us what the connection to Holland is? Okay, so L. Frank Baum's family um, had a cottage out at Makatawa called the Sign of the Goose. The Sign of the Goose, unfortunately, no longer exists. But um, L. Frank Baum spent some time out there and was fascinated by um, Makatawa, by the people. Um, the castle at Castle Park, and all of that. So the, the story is, and while L. Frank Baum spent a lot of time in Chicago as well, mm-hmm. there are parts of the story that have ties to Holland, Michigan. So that's, we thought, what a great way to honor that legacy, because a lot of people aren't aware of that. Oh, sure. And this will be one one more really unique thing for Holland. It, it will be. And, you know, as a result of this, um, back in the 70s, there was actually a Munchkins convention out at the Old Point West area. Really? All these Munchkins came to town. How and, fun. And Dick Denial, who owned Point West, had a yellow brick road laid down. Okay. And then in 2014, we, the city of Holland, our office, um, helped host the International Oz Society Annual Convention. <clears throat> and it was a result of that that this whole statue idea sort of came to fruition. Okay. Okay. So there's multiple pieces to this exhibit, correct? There are. There are obviously the bronze sculptures, okay. and that is Dorothy and Toto, um, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Lion, my personal favorite, a 12 and a half foot fighting tree with a flying monkey in it. Oh my goodness. Um, You're going to have the fighting monkeys. Right. The Yellow Brick Road, and then in uh, Centennial Park, we will have a 10 by 20 foot living mosaic filled with plants that will uh, be an open book of the original Wizard of us, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Oh, okay. So that's the piece that will come down seasonally and then will be put back yes, up again? Yes, that's correct. That uh, that piece, uh, called a cadreform, is actually being shipped here with the plants already in it. Oh. Now, next year... Um, so the city now will be planting from seed um, flowers to go in that in subsequent years. Okay. But this year it comes already planted, okay. which is That's, amazing That is me. amazing. I yes. I can only picture that. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm excited to see it. Apparently, um, the country of Canada had celebrated their 350-year anniversary uh, last year, and okay. they had all of these cadreforms, these huge living mosaic scu- floral sculptures all over the country. Oh, wow. So that was sort Sort of where the idea came from. Okay. So Holland in Bloom took the bull by the horns, so to speak, and and made work of making sure we had one come to Holland, Michigan. Okay. And the library is the other partner in the yes, project, correct? Yes, the, the sculptures will, the bronze sculptures, life-size bronze sculptures, will actually be on the north side of the library, Okay. so on 12th Street. Um, we will be laying down a yellow brick road there as well, okay. um, and we will have three benches um, where people can sit and enjoy the sculptures on the library side and two additional benches in um, in Centennial Park, Okay. which, while we're talking about benches, and Yellow Brick Road. Um, We do have an opportunity if people would like to purchase a brick on the Yellow Brick Road. Um, We have two price points, actually. If they would like to purchase a yellow brick in front of the Living Mosaic sculpture with um, an inscription on it, um, we have approximately 270 of those bricks available at $100 a piece. If they would like to purchase a brick um, in front of one of the statues, say if they're a real Dorothy aficionado, Mm -hmm. um, they can purchase an inscribed brick. We have roughly 300 of those, and they can designate if they want it in front of Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, or the Lion. Okay. Um, and then benches, inscribed benches, are 2500 a bench. 
So the community can be involved. The, the in community in can be involved, well. and we are encouraging the community That's to awesome. be involved. That's um, great. We're finding there's lots of interest in this and lots of Wizard of Oz aficionados within the community. Okay. So we're looking forward to it. And where does somebody go to donate? To donate. Okay, we have um, envelopes that are available, charitable gift envelopes. They are available um, at City Hall, at our office, the Convention and Visitors Bureau at 7080 State Street, at the Tulip Time Festival office, at the Civic Center, at the BPW, and at Yonkers Gardens. Okay. And the if if people write a check, um, it it is tax deductible. If they pay by credit card, it is not. So okay. we just need people to know that. Um, but we have these envelopes around town, and um, if people have any questions, certainly they can give us a buzz. Great, great. That's that's always great when the community can be a part of such a large project right. as this. And and we're really hoping for a lot of community involvement. You know, and and we're finding that this is going beyond the community. Um, we already have four bricks that have been purchased by someone in the Netherlands. Oh my goodness. Which is awesome. Okay. So I have one last quick question for sure. you. And as I understand it, Dorothy in the book was a little bit different from Dorothy in the movie, correct? That's true. So what will the Dorothy sculpture be? It will be a little girl. Okay. Um, Dorothy was like four years old. Okay. In the movie, Judy Garland was maybe 12. Right, right. So okay. So there will be a size difference. There will be a size difference. <laughs> and difference. that will be why, because right. yes. we're depicting the characters in the book. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, anything else you want to tell us um, about Just this? real quickly, uh, for the Holland uh, residents who are familiar with um, the statue, the protector, down mm-hmm. in front of the Holland Safety Department, the sure. officer holding the hand of the little girl, mm-hmm. that same company is the company Broden out in Minneapolis who's doing the sculptures. Oh, okay. The lion is already done. Oh, um, okay. So we are so excited. So we know the quality of the work. Sure. It should be awesome yes. and a wonderful addition. When do, when will this be unveiled? Okay, the the book, the Living Mosaic in Centennial Park, will be here the end of May, beginning of June. The statues will be placed the end of July, beginning of August. Okay. So by, you know, 10th of August, we should be good to go. So, Sally, where can people donate and also find, is there a website where people can find out more information? There is. Our website is www.hollandozproject.com okay hollandozproject.com and um, for more information info at hollandozproject.com okay or they can call our office at 394-0000 okay well thank you sally appreciate thank you. your time today thank you my pleasure and until next time this has been my holland update <laughs>